I want to read a tiny little excerpt from an essay that I wrote back in 2016. It's called Mothering a Member of an Endangered Species. And then I want to tell you why I just read this tiny little excerpt for you. I remember the night that my sons made the transition, completed this rite of passage that catapulted them from the isn't he cute comments to stares of suspicion. They were 12. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for them to go on dates or take their first drive or get a job. I absolutely wasn't ready for them to be stopped by the cops. It was October 31st, 2008, and we had just returned from hours of face painting, pizza eating, bobbing for apples, sliding down huge inflated slides, and boxing with inflated gloves at a church about 30 minutes away. It was still early around 7.30 and my kids wanted more candy, although they each had a bulging basket. So I let them out in front of our house, told them we'd make a quick trip around the neighborhood and call it a night. They began walking to the next door neighbor's house and I began to turn the key to open my front door. We'd won a cake that night in a game of musical chairs and I planned to drop it off in the kitchen and join them. But before I could even do that, out of the corner of my eyes, I saw flashing lights and the cops were jumping out of a squad car yelling, hold it right there, young man, what are you doing? I set the cake on my front porch steps and began walking toward the scene, not believing that my sons in full Halloween finery and clutching baskets full of candy were being questioned by the police who assured me that they were only stopping them because someone reported that it looked like some young men were casing a house. How unlikely that excuse sounded to me, since the hood of my car was still warm and I hadn't even had time to open my front door. We went, out, we went inside right after and my kids gave all their candy away to the next group that knocked on the door. No one had much of an appetite. That was my baptism into the life of a black teenager in America. So I'm going to stop there. Of course, the essay goes on to a lot of other experiences, but I wanted to share that with you because it made me think about a lot of things with this bear man discussion that's going on right now. Because recently, a new ripple was added to this discussion with the bear man daughter situation. So when men were asked, who would you want to have, you know, around your daughter in the woods, a lot of them say bear. And they understand, they have the fear um, they have the concern, they have the empathy for the daughter. But it also makes me wonder if the question were, who would you want around a little girl? It's not yours, a bear or a man in the woods. Would that empathy still be there? And the reason I say that is because recently there have been a lot of articles that have come out that have asked men if it were legal, how young would you date? And some men have said 10. In fact, I believe it was a certain country where one third of the men that were interviewed picked an underage age, you know, the average being around 12 or 13. And then there's been this trend on TikTok recently, the grandma, you little victim, where we see that in the twenties, in the early 1900s, child marriage was rampant. And then people have been stitching that that hasn't changed in the United States in terms of 
I believe the stat was 38 states still allow child marriage with some kind of parental consent, which sometimes turns out to be a form of trafficking. I'm bringing this up because it was very clear that a lot of men had no empathy for adult women in this situation and were angered that they weren't willingly being in the woods with men and giving men the benefit of the doubt and believing in men or trusting men and that scenario shifted when it was the guy's daughter or a man's daughter but it makes me wonder if it were a girl and not a woman in the woods would there still be that same empathy because it seems that with adult women the most important thing to some men is their feelings their ego their access and it makes me wonder would that be the same if it wasn't your biological daughter because I do know that the stats on SA in step families with the stepfather is significantly higher than with the biological father. So the age of the child, the inappropriateness, the imbalance of power, the um the fact that it's abuse doesn't stop those men from that act with their stepdaughter so it just it just makes me wonder you know it was 12 when my sons went from isn't he cute to he could possibly be casing a house, even though my sons were dressed in Halloween garb and had trick-or-treat baskets. And it seems like, according to some of the surveys, it's 10 when some men would consider a girl fair game to be uh, 